actually that heavily depends on what we're working on, right? But uh, most of the time and like as a you know daily basis, I think the programmers are like the biggest group, right? Um, because you know even though if we are uh, kind of trying to push and uh, ideate around stuff, they are most of the time people that make it work, right? They're the magicians that uh, make our work uh, you know possible, which is great. Um, and all of the other designers, right? Because, you know, we as game designers are responsible for only part of the experience, right? But you also have the level designers, right? As Andreas mentioned, we have, you know, narrative designers, um, you know, very often quest designers as well, right? So our job is to, to create an experience using all of the bits that we have, right? Um, and to create something truly interesting and, remar and remarkable. Yeah, I, I can only concur. Like the programmers are probably the ones that we spend most time with day to day. But again, yeah, depending on feature, like if it's locomotion, for instance, like I, I would collaborate a whole lot with the animators on, yeah. on that, that part, for instance, but uh, it really depends. Yeah. yeah, I think I think there is something really unique about game design uh, that makes you at some point, uh, you know, depends on at which state of the production you are, right? Collaborating with literally every single team on the project because you know at the end of the project you work a lot with QA I mean throughout the project as well right but the end of it is uh, it's like the you know the um, the peak of it right so working a lot of QA as well right sometimes working with marketing for example to create some very like yeah sure power <laughs> you know some in interesting promos for that right um, yeah I think I think game design is very um, unique when it comes to that because you literally touch or can touch any other topic right UI programming like whatever you think of and you have to be able to communicate with all these people yeah. obviously right that's the interesting part and yeah different departments need different levels of communication yeah. and uh, what, <laughs> what triggers them what uh, what can best uh, help you actually create the features that you, that you want to get into the game yeah like knowing how to talk you know with artists with uh, you know programmers with uh, direction as well yes. which is like a big part yeah. and knowing how to navigate and tell yeah. the same things in a different way yes. is a crucial part of you know just uh, being a designer overall <laughs> yeah so yes one of the parts is actually like inspiring people yeah to to actually implement the feature that you've written down somewhere on, on paper, right? That's uh, if you, and if you can do that, then the, then you're golden. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs>